Hi, I'm Alan Horn. Um, I've been a telecommunications regulator for the last uh, six years in Vanuatu and in Bahrain. And prior to that, I was an advisor to many governments throughout Middle East and Africa and Europe uh, on establishing liberalized uh, environments and establishing regulators. I'm the um, moderator for the subject of convergence of regulation at IT World on Tuesday the 19th uh, of November. This particular uh, debate is going to look very importantly at the debate of how we regulate our telecommunications uh, sector uh, in the coming years. Uh, governments now recognize that broadband communications is vitally important to economic and social development. Government recognizes that uh, broadband communications has to be uh, connected to even the remotest of communities. And as we know, in a competitive world, uh, the private sector will not invest in these communities if there's not a clear economic case. And therefore, governments and regulators have to have policies and approaches in order to be able to uh, lay and in invest in infrastructure into rural communities. Over these broadband communi communications, we're very well aware now there's been a convergence of services, media, television, uh, radio, uh, internet, uh, as well as voice. And with convergence of services, many argue there should now also be a convergence of regulation. If, for instance, I'm now viewing my TV over my internet uh, broadband connection and not over a television set, then I may not, depending upon the regulation of the country, may not have to pay a TV license. Is that what governments want? Uh, I was in uh, San Diego recently at the Global eHealth Foundation and a number of the uh, providers of smartphones uh, who are providing health applications over their smartphones were concerned slightly that their smartphones now needed to go through another regulatory process with the US Food and Administration um, uh, authorities. So authorities and regulators, whether we're regulating um, broadcasting, spectrum, telecommunications, uh, uh, medical devices, etc., need to talk together. When I was in Vanuatu, I had a call from the the uh, uh, the banking regulator, the uh, central bank, and they wanted to discuss consumer protection because the local mobile operator was introducing financial services. So regulators have to talk together, but governments are now uh, trying to debate what is the best way to structure regulation? What's the most efficient and effective way to structure regulation given the convergence of services? Um, what should the regulatory model be? Should we uh, once again look at just having a utility regulator which is concerned at ensuring there is a universal connection of uh, technology neutral uh, infrastructure uh, with the re another regulator looking at the consumer protection and the competition of services over that particular infrastructure. So the, the debate uh, in, uh, at World Telecom will be looking at some of these questions. Uh, they'll be asking, are today's regulators too big, too complex, outdated regulation? Uh, how should we go forward? Which way should we split the regulatory cake? Should we do anything? Can we just deal with uh, co-regulation, uh, deal with good dialogue and have the regulator uh, working uh, very much concerned about the bigger picture and uh, prioritizing its, its actions in order to ensure uh, good connectivity. So we very much look forward to seeing you there uh, and joining in that debate uh, and helping to shape the future of uh, the regulation of converged services throughout the world. I look forward to seeing you then.